Hey everybody, welcome back to Dog Focus Training. Today we're gonna to talk about one of the most important uh, aspects of using an e-collar, uh, and that's how you get it fitted just right on their neck. Uh, if you go too loose, if you go too tight, both are problematic, and in both cases, you, the, the collar's not gonna work for you. And so, uh, you've gotta get it on there just right. I'm gonna show you how to do that in, in this video. Uh, we'll also talk about the, the complications or the consequences of, of both too tight or too loose and what can happen and, and what can go wrong. So uh, we're excited to get to the video, share this important information with you. Before we get to that, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell so you get uh, notified every time we send out a new video. And uh, I guess let's head outside and we'll grab Odin and I'll show you how to, how to get this thing fitted on his neck. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to notice when you take one of these out of the box is that um, it is the collar is way longer than you need, and uh, and so and that's fine. You're welcome. Once you can size it up and clip it short if you want. Some guys just leave it long. It doesn't matter either way. If you do cut it short, uh, you're going to want to you're going to want to burn the ends, kind of like you would a nylon, uh, kind of like you would a nylon rope to keep it from fraying, um, and so. But when you put it on there, it's going to be really important that you get it get it really snug. Uh, for example, good boy, stay. Um, sit. All right. Now, one of the first things you'll notice about when I do it is I, I get it up high around the top of his neck instead of down low where his collar goes. Um, the reason for that is is like most of our necks, they're they're wider at the bottom and then they get narrower or they taper as they get closer to the to the base of the skull. And so if you put it down here low where his collar is then as you're out exercising or training or working your dog that's slowly going to work up and it's going to become too loose um, and so I like to start it up high where it can't it can't it doesn't have anywhere to go so I know it's going to stay where I want it to now um, when I decide how tight I want it I want to make it so that I only get Two, I can get two fingers underneath. If I can get two fingers underneath that uh, and it feels snug, then I know that that's about right. If it's looser than that, then what's going to happen is there's going to be a bad connection and when you go to stimulate to get your dog's attention, um, it's not going to work. Uh, he's not going to feel that stim. It's not going to stimulate those muscles in his neck. Uh, on the flip side of that, I, I think maybe the, the consequence of too tight is, is obvious, but I'll, I'll state it anyway, just for the purposes of the conversation, is if you get it too tight, you're going to choke your dog. Um, and you're going to cut down his airways, and he's not going to breathe right, and the training's going to go poorly, and you can have a disaster on your hands. And so you want to be able to just get it so that two fingers can slide under there. Uh, and then, like I said, you're... <laughs> I haven't cut mine off and I, I've never noticed any problem with it. So, all right, sit up. There you go. So you can see how long that is and it, it kind of lays over, but it's never, all right. Hey, bring it here. Odin, come. And it's never caused me any problems. Right here, right here. Hey, drop it. No, drop it right here. Drop it. Good. All right, we're going to send him on a fun retrieve. All right, good boy. So that's the key to getting it adjusted just right. If you're having problems with your um, e-collar, come here, hey. If you're having problems with your e-collar, one of the first things I would check is the fit. And just make sure that uh, make sure that it's not too tight and make sure that it's not too loose and that it hasn't moved on you over the course of your, uh, your training, especially if it works early on and then stops working uh, and you're not getting any response from your dog. It's a good sign that it's moved up and it's loosened. All right, come on. Right here, drop it. Right here, drop it. Sit. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next video, right? Hop up.